Welcome everybody to College Basketball's Biggest Night, the second annual Jimmy Awards right here on the Sunday Sports Buzz presented by Sam Swope. And we want to hear from you, 964-2121, the Goober & Company Buzz Line. I'm your host, Greg Brom, and I'm joined by the man himself, the biggest college basketball fan guru in this area. Handsome Jimmy is with us, and handsome... Uh, Elvis would be proud. I mean, you brought it with this suit tonight. Yeah, Greg, I appreciate it. Perfection. Uh, when, you, when, you, when you're around a Brom, you got to be perfection. <laughs> and we look at the, the Jimmy. This is what everybody wants on their mantle. Everybody in college basketball wants to get their hands on this magnificent trophy, courtesy of Mike Flanders at Shively Sporting no Goods. Question. And the you know an action photo of handsome doing a power clean no question uh this you know this is what it's all about in college basketball and we're going to have a bunch of awards tonight to celebrate this college basketball season it's the crowning achievement forget cutting the nets down it's all about getting a jimmy do you have a jimmy on your mantle and we'll see who will after tonight's show first of all handsome richard patino <sighs> in the news today apparently he's going to take the head coaching job at Florida International, he's taken over for Isaiah Thomas, and how big a blow is this to the Cards for next season? You know, Greg, you think about when when we had him, and then he then he left, and what we lose two or three high school McDonald's All Americans was coming, and we, and we lost uh, Melo went to Syracuse. I mean, but we got Gorky, but losing him. And I always thought Coach Peace had, you know, two years. You know, I thought he was going to stay. He two. did say all the assistants but, were going to stay two years. But but Greg. He's from, you know, he went to Florida, yeah. maybe the pipeline. He's got some players he may be in on. You never know. And, uh, you know, he's going to have, you know, his coaching experience, head coach job. So I tell you what, the last three years Richard has been on staff, two Elite Eights and a Final Four. Pretty and you saw the difference when he wasn't there those oh. two seasons. I think Rick actually listens to Richard. That's one guy that will tell Rick what he needs to hear right. instead of maybe what he wants to hear. Right. And I think it could be a little bit of, of a blow for this team. Let me ask you this. Rick coaches another five years. Are you good with Richard Pitino being the next coach at Louisville? No. No. Program's too big. Program's too big. And don't get me wrong. I think I think Coach P's son's going to be great. I think Richard's going to be great. I'm be great. You're talking about one of the seven greatest programs of all that. I mean, he could – now, even though it would be his second – He might have five years of experience but at, even though it'd be, FIU by then. But even though it would be his second job and – I uh, just, I just don't sit right then. I, I, or, I, now how do you feel about that? You know what? I think I'm okay with it. Are I you think rolling? I'd be okay with it because I assume that Rick, over the next four or five years, maybe gets back to another Final Four, hopefully two or more. Go ahead. And next by that year. time, Richard's got some uh, coaching uh, experience right. on his belt as a head coach. He's shown what he can do. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, no. in my opinion. He's probably going to be a great coach. Sure. I'd be okay with it. Well, Let's hear from you. 964-2121, Richard Pitino, headed to FIU. It's time for our first award, though, and the second annual Jimmy's. And the first award, he squats five and benches four. The tough guy in college basketball this season. And the nominees are Shane Bahannon from Louisville. MKG from Kentucky and Christian Watford from Indiana because he had the the uh, fortitude to strike down the Cats in in Assembly Hall with that three point shot but, early in the season. So he gets a nomination. Break, he, he broke their heart, but but he, he couldn't win the war because uh, the guy plays on that Louisville Cardinal team. Shane, he's a beast, and uh, I know the young man up the road. I mean, he's tough too, but. I had to go with Shane here. No uh, I tell you what, Shane Bahannon wins the he squats five benches four. I tell you what, Shane took it to another level late in oh, the year. Unbelievable. He actually parked himself down low and knocked bodies around. Yes. Did what Rick wanted him to do. Yes. A la Rodney McRae, a la Handsome Jimmy in the post. <laughs> and I loved it against Florida. At the end of the game, they threw the ball to him down in the post. He weighed, waved everybody oh. off, said, I'm taking it. I'm putting this in the lead. And Shane, I mean, really, for next year, he's set up to be an All-American type player. What I'm worried about is going to play one more year. <laughs> and what, what that school up the road has been going through, Errors one's probably leaving. But like you said, Greg, that play right there, when he got the ball down the block, he weighed there right away, and he did his Colbert Bryant imitation. And it was money. Uh, you know? uh, it's almost like you've been training him in a way. <laughs> I got to tell you, you know, I got to tell you, he better help a guy to hand after this year. <laughs> All right, Shane Mahanna wins our first Jimmy 
of the night. Our next award. Show him some respect. Show him some respect. Who has earned Handsome's respect this basketball season? Russ Smith from Louisville gets the first nomination. Darius Miller, the senior at Kentucky, stayed around and got himself a championship ring. And this guy right here, he's the Rodney Dangerfield of all the sports radio of the, the entire city. He's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Handsome right here in this studio. Jeff Mason from Mason and Myers in the morning, 1450, the sports buzz. Mason is trying. He wants somebody to give him some respect. But I don't know if it's coming. What, is it coming now? Is Mason your guy? Can I just go ahead and tell you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, let's go ahead and get this other one. Mace, I mean, you know, it's like when we were in here with debating, it's like all in Frazier. He had no shot. <laughs> it's like, it's, I said it's Tyson and Clooney. It's Tyson and, 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 Bobby and, and, and Jerry and Cooney. Cooney. I mean, there's no Tyson. question. There's no question on it. But, but you know, some you, you look at the can, candidates here, and, and, and hell, Miller come back for his senior year, outstanding. I mean, give the young man credit, but the guy's got the respect as Russ Smith. I mean, he, he, you know, some games without him, what happens this year when we go in our scoring droughts, Greg? I mean, Russ Smith has got the honor, and he deserved the respect, of, the respect award. Do you I agree, tell you what, I absolutely, because for much of the season, everybody thought Russ was a liability. Oh, hey, yeah, let's no see question. him on the court. Yeah. You know, Russ is too many turnovers. You can't control Russ. But you know what? Throughout that whole thing, Russ never quit shooting. He never quit, take, to no. quit taking the ball to the basket. Wasn't scared to put it up. Wasn't scared no. at all. Was right. not gun shy. Right. And... He won individually quite a few games. And in the final uh, eight, the lead eight yes. against Florida, yes. he took over at the end of the game. I think he does – is a deserving winner. You know, Greg, you think you, you think in New York City, you know, Rutgers Park is the where everybody wants to play. Well, that's what he thought every game he's in, in the gum center. <laughs> or where were we played at? I mean, he just said, hey, give me the ball, get out of the way. I'm, I'm shooting it. I'll go one on four, whatever I need to do. But I'm creating something, and I like that. I tell you what, he even turned uh, his own head coach around because by the end of the season, Rick said Russ was responsible for four or five victories. He, he himself alone was. And early in the year, he was driving. Rick was losing his hair, oh. driving him crazy. You know, he was. it was, it was a heart, you know, murmur waiting to happen every game. Greg named another player has played for him and played like this. One, well, one minute he'd been over on the sideline. He might not saw another. I, I mean, it's set the rest of the game. But you had to have him. Hey, so did you want to pull him out a couple of times? Did you want to yank him oh, out of the game? Oh my yes. I, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, you know, he get you know where he's, where he was shooting, miss a shot, did he come right back and shoot another one? I said, man, did he come back and hit one? He said, leave me. You know what I mean? You couldn't help it, but oh, there's no question. Yeah, you know, he drove he drove me up the wall a few times, but he didn't leave go. You know, next year a big year too for him. A big year for yes. us and these Louisville Cardinal. We'll look ahead to next year a little bit later yes. in the show, and we'll have more Jimmys after these commercial commercial messages. The Sunday Sports Buzz presented by Sam Swope. Hi, I'm Jim Weeks at MaxCare No Project is... Hi, I'm Joey Craig of Craig and Lander Cars. I'd like to invite you out to our newest location here in beautiful Crestwood. My father, Larry Craig, started our business over 37 years ago. We now have seven great locations to serve Kentuckiana with over 500 automobiles in stock. We are a family-owned and operated business that believes in taking care of customers. Stop by and see for yourself. See you soon. Now you You're going to flip for Rally's $2 Chicken and Fish Feast. Feast on two flavor-packed sandwiches, just two bucks. Rally's Spicy Chicken, crispy outside, juicy inside. Or our crispy fish, wild-caught Alaskan filet. Choose two of the same or one of each, just two bucks. It's a flavor lover's feast, only at Rally's. Feast on. If my night's going into overtime, I head to Rally's. It's open till midnight or later. Hi, I'm Kevin Renfro, owner of the Becker Law Office. Our focus is personal injury law. I've been asked if that means just car wrecks. Not at all. We help people who have been injured because of unsafe conditions, product defects, drug side effects, denial of disability benefits, and other tragic injuries. No matter how you've been injured, call the Becker Law Office. Serious. Experienced. Results. Call the Becker Law Office for a free evaluation. Just dial threes. 
Hi, I'm Jim Weeks, and MaxCare, no project is too big. We have the capabilities to handle the smallest residential project to the largest commercial undertaking. We even clean big houses like this one. And everyone has been a buzz about our amazing four areas for $99 special. We want to let everyone know that MaxCare also cleans upholstery, ceramic tile, and air ducts. We also install and refinish hardwood floors dust-free. MaxCare, locally owned and family operated. Give us a call, 636-4629. All right, we're back. The Sunday Sports Bus presented by Sam Swope at the second annual Jimmy Awards. The culmination, the crowning achievement of the college basketball season is to take home one of these trophies. Handsome, it must have been really difficult for you to pose like that for like eight hours you, while you, Mike made this trophy. You know, and I got to, you know, <laughs> in that Greg, position. It, Greg, it was. There was no question. And I thought I was going to have to call you in. <laughs> Ted Walsh. You know what I'm saying? But you, can, you got it done. Nice job, well, Mike Flanders, Shabby Sporting Goods. I appreciate that. For this year's Jimmy's. And we've got some callers with us. Terry, you're up. Terry, you've been a loyal caller. You might have to make our nominations for next year Caller of the Year Jimmy Award. I'll have my stats ready for you. All right. your friend, I say hello. He looks nice in his suit. Thank you. i like to give a shout-out to Rick. I think he deserves this chance to see if he can make it or not. And also, who do you think might be able to come in for him? The guy that Rick, they said online, that Rick first picked, he wants to work for Calipari. I don't think he'll be well for us. And then what do you think about Bullet? Oh, we don't lose Bullet because when – uh, Russ go on his little mission, see what get in foul trouble, mm -hmm. and uh, where we figure he wasn't a point guard for real. He tried, but Bullet has always been there for us. Mm -hmm. And then why haven't we heard anything by Chris Smith? What, what's going on with him? And that's all I want. Okay, well, Terry, thank, thank you very you, much. Terry. She's mentioned Jarence Howard is who she's talking about, a possible candidate to replace Richard. Great recruiter from Illinois oh. who's been on the radar for Cal before. Yeah. Who gets that job, you think? Where does Rick go to fill Richard's spot? You know, I mean, is it going to be – Is it, does he got to go out and get a recruiter, Greg? I mean, we lose one. So I, don't you, know if he, I don't know if he needs a recruiter. He might need a X and O guy to well, help uh, support him because that's what Joaquin Jones and Keats are supposed to be recruiters. Right, but right. Well, I'd, you, take a, I'd take a, a – a World Wide West type recruiter. Oh, though. there's no question. I mean, we get a shot. I can't, I can't deny him if he comes in here. Be glad to have him. But I'm here, you know, maybe Scott Page, David Pageant. I mean, could, but can they, this big program, can they come right in and do the recruiting? I was going to say, they don't have a lot of coaching experience, right. even though they've both been great, great right. players. Uh, and Rick likes to groom those guys who played for him. And, and Terry, everything I'm talking about what? the bullet. Bu I'm sorry, bullet, Rick. yeah. What do you think about bullet? Uh, he's he's going like, I'm hearing everything I'm hearing, Terry, he's leaving. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's probably got, there's probably no time left for him with Rozier coming in. Right. Where and, and there, up, she made some good points about that. Every time, you know, steady. When, when, yes, he, he get in there and play his role. All right, let's go to Kevin. Kevin, you're up. Right. Uh, as far as Richard being the next coach, uh, look at Pat Knight and Sean Sutton. Right. I don't know. Well, I mean, Saul Smith will probably be the next coach of Minnesota then, too. I mean. I don't but think do, you, but do you eliminate him just because he's Rick's son? It sounds to me like you do. Yeah, I mean, and lack of coaching experience. Well, I mean, five years from now, if he's at FIU as a head coach for four or five years, would he have a lack of coaching experience? Uh, that's still a bigger gamble, I think, than, you know, a bigger okay. name. Okay, good good point, yeah. Kevin, good point. Let's get, to a, let's get to another award. We'll get to a couple callers here in a second. Speaking of coaches, and Richard – had a lot to do with the success of the cards this no year, question. but the That's My Coach Award, Handsome's, that, Handsome's Coach, Coach of the Year, Rick Pitino, Louisville, John Calipari, Kentucky with the National Championship, Tom Crean with his uh, reclamation project at IU, and then Steve Prohm at Murray State led, led them to a, a one-loss regular season. Good list there. Scotty didn't make it this year, though. Uh, you know, it's a tough... You know, I got to tell you, you know, Greg, when we started, he, he could have. When we started having these meetings about the Jimmy Awards, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, I mean, you know how we argued a little bit. We couldn't help it, but that's the way it is. <laughs> I know Coach P. You know, we had, you know, we was down, you know, injuries, but everything come together when everybody got healthy. So Coach made that late, late surge, 
you got to give it to Coach Patino. I mean, so the, the young man, the young man at Murray. I mean, he was probably yeah. my top candidate at one time. Yeah. You know, and uh, what about that uh, young man down in uh, Lexington? You know, he, re- <laughs> he in our in our meetings, we didn't have to what argue about him. He, he, we didn't have to. <laughs> We didn't have to argue about him because he's never come back. <laughs> I was going to say, are we ever going to see one of these sitting down there in uh, Rupp Arena? <laughs> oh, zero. Zero. No shot. No All shot. right. Rick Pitino is the That's My Coach Award. Okay. Um, let's go to Michael. Michael, you're up. Michael, what's going on? Here, go again. Hey, buddy, what you got? Speak up a little bit. Hello? Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Okay, Mike, we'll get to you later. We're going to go to our next award, the No Question Player of the Year. No question about it. Here's our list. And one of these guys has been consensus award yes. winner throughout the nation. I don't know if he's going <laughs> to – there might be one he doesn't quite take home this year. But Anthony Davis from Kentucky wins a national champion. Ship, probably number one pick in the draft. He's he gets a nomination at least right, this year. Right. Gorgie Jing from Louisville, Cody Zeller from IU, Isaiah Canaan from Murray, Braden Hobbs from Bellarmine. On the list, then five nominees, handsome. No question, who gets the award? I gotta go with the young man from Bellarmine, Hobbs. Uh, you know, Greg, here's a here's a young man it, it coming to the program and just off the chart how he played. Here he is, the third lead score on their team. He wins their Player of the Year honor in their conference, in Nation Player of the Year. It's 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 incredible. So there's no doubt, hands down, to me, <laughs> I had to give up. So, and I, and, and Anthony Davis, you know, he'll he'll he's won enough of them. I mean, he's won enough, and you know, that great tradition. That's their first Player of the Year honor. You know, they had so much tradition. You know, they won't talk about that. You know, and we've had Player of the Year honors, Daryl Griffin. You know, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. And everybody, but I just want to throw that little cut in there. <laughs> but, All right. Uh, how do you like Hobbs? A great player, great team. I mean, they got. I mean, when you get in a one uh, defeat, uh, single elimination well, situation, and it, you could lose. And they lost in the, the lead eight uh, or final, actually semifinals. Yeah, right? semifinals. semifinals. Yeah. Yeah, great run, run by Bellarmine. They'll be back again next year oh, and the year pro- after and the year after. There's no Scott. question. There's no question. And, uh, and Braden Hobbs was their leader. And yes, he was. Yes, he was. Now, it's a big loss now. I mean, it's a big <laughs> yeah. loss. But, I mean, Coach Davenport did so well there. And, and the recruits he gets. I mean, these guys can play some Division One. There's no question. Absolutely. So, Brayden Hobbs. Brayden Hobbs, we're going down to NCAA Division Two. Yeah, have to have to, to, give to pull our player of the year. Have no question about no it. Question. So, we've given out four Jimmys tonight. We've got two big Jimmys coming up. On the other side of this commercial break, we're going to give out our final two Jimmys. Then look ahead, handsome, to next basketball season. This is the Sunday Sports Buzz presented by Sam Swope. Join the club at Sam Swope Auto Group. Tip out your ride at Smart Shoppers 4200 Produce Road. That's Smart Shoppers 4200 Produce Road to pimp out your ride. They are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. They are the largest car audio dealer in the city of Louisville. No better place for paint or body work in the city than Smart Shoppers. You need rims, stereos, amps, paint, anything you need. Call 964-6652 or go to smartshoppers.com. That's Smart Shoppers 964 Six six five two. You're gonna flip for Rally's two dollar chicken and fish feast. Feast on two flavor packed sandwiches, just two bucks. Rally's spicy chicken, crispy outside, juicy inside, or our crispy fish, wild caught Alaskan fillet. Choose two of the same or one of each, just two bucks. It's a flavor lover's feast, only at Rally's. Feast on. If my night's going into overtime, I head to Rally's. It's open till midnight or later. Hi, I'm Kevin Renfro, the attorney in charge of the Becker Law Office. When I was a kid, my dad lost a finger in an industrial accident. Couldn't work for a long time. It was tough on my family, and it taught me that the world can be cruel for those who are injured and have no one to stand up for them. If you've been injured, please call the Becker Law Office. We want to help you get the money you and your family deserve. Serious, experienced results. Call the Becker Law Office for a free evaluation. Just dial threes. 
Triple Crown Steakhouse in Shepherdsville, Kentucky is best known for its steaks and ribs, but the fish and chicken is just as delicious. Our cozy atmosphere, friendly servers make the perfect place to bring your family. Come see us at Triple Crown Steakhouse. You won't regret it. And we now have a new feature on our website. It's auctions. You can bid for even better prices on all the great items we have here at 21 Live. Go to our website, shop21live.com. 21 Live. Join the club at Sam Swope Auto Group. When you service a vehicle at any Sam Swope dealership, you automatically become a Service VIP Rewards member. You get member pricing on parts and service, lost key return, and emergency roadside assistance. Plus, you can earn points that qualify you for discounts on your next vehicle purchase, up to $2,500. The best part is becoming a member is free. Become a member today at any Sam Swope dealership. Nobody walks away because everybody saves. The man himself is here, college basketball's biggest night, the Jimmy Awards. Handsome, in the house. Handsome, still my show, even though you steal it. You steal the show when you're on. Uh, yeah, i yeah. got to remind you every day. i got to tell you something. Uh, There's no way you can steal nothing from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> Two classic for organizations. You're the, the star. The family, you're the star. The family's outstanding. You don't steal nothing from the Bronx. <laughs> All right. We got uh, the mayor with us joining us tonight on the Jimmy Awards. Hey, mayor. Mayor, what's going on, buddy? What's up, boys? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, yeah, Mr. Brom, I tell you what, it takes a lot to tear me away from playoff hockey this time of year. <laughs> I know it does. I'm still honored. The Jimmy <laughs> took the Jimmy at, Awards. When you're looking at something that's as powerful as Emmys, the Academy Awards, something that's as powerful as back in the old days, the Tyson Spinks pay-per-view, the Hagler Leonard pay-per-view, you got to call in and give your two cents if you know what I'm talking about. This is a this is a great night. It's great to see you guys on TV. And uh, the only thing uh, that uh, I'd like to ask a question about is uh, <clears throat> what would uh, Mister or, or what would Coach Patino's uh, what, what does he mean when he says two years? When he talked about uh, <laughs> signing a contract with his assistants. <laughs> I tell there, you what, yeah. I don't, you know what, even when he said it, I think it's it's almost unfair to hold an assistant to an assistant's job and right. get a head job. I mean, it's only the right thing to do. I mean, I, mean, how's he I don't tell see him a no? problem with it. How's he tell his son no? no. Or any of the coaches. How yeah. you say, no, you can't go there. You know, I mean, but Greg, the team we're going to have coming back. All right. And there's going to be another job. Speaking of that, before we get to our next caller, where's what's uh, where's Louisville ranked preseason in Kentucky? Oh, in Indiana. No, what do you have them ranked? Uh, Rank them in order. Uh, Louisville 1, Indiana 2, Kentucky 5. Kentucky 5. Yeah. Kentucky 5. They didn't get all the guys no, they wanted. No. That, I, I, I don't think I'd put them number one just getting Noel no, from this no, week. No. I would put Louisville and, number and, one. And, and IU breaks the winning streak in Rupp Arena. Rape Arena, I'll call it Rape Arena. <laughs> No, no question. Okay. okay. Let's go real quick before we get to our final two uh, uh, Jimmy's. We'll get the truth in and we'll get Carolina in a little bit later. Car truth. Truth, what's up, baby? Hey, what's up, Hanson? Listen, y'all should not be number one. Indiana's number one. Send the contact, Hanson. We'll see who's number one. Uh, I can't, I, I can't, play a little defense up there in Bloomington, I, though, uh, Truth. Oh, we got help this year on the boys. You got help? You're going to need to play a team on Floyd Street. Oh, a, a team on Florida Street better win some championships. Well, it's coming. You two and hey, Hanson, you two and nine in the national championship. I don't, baby, got to win. I don't we like it. I don't like the truth, but it's going. To, we're going to be. We're going. We're going to win the championship this year, and that's going to even out a little bit. We got five banners. Give me you try to catch us. Well, wait, wait, that's all right. Give us three. I'm both smiling. All right, Truth. Thanks for calling. Thank okay, you, buddy. Jimmy Award. This may be the most. It was the highlight of last year's Jimmy is when the uh, induction of Jeff Brom into the Handsome Jimmy Hall of Fame, and he called in to accept his honor. I got to tell you. I mean, <laughs> number eleven. You number eleven. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, I got to tell you. I mean, you know how much I love Jeff. I mean, they, just to get to know him, know him like I do. Great freight football player. A hundred times better person. Oh. That's just the way it is. I mean, and to, and to say you know your idol. I mean, you know, I'm sitting right beside he his He called brother. your wedding. He called your your your. Oh, I, I, I got to tell you something. Marrying my, my beautiful wife Judy, that's off the chart. But getting number eleven, the call. He I totally want to he dedicate he the game. He did a toast. I mean, how could I be? Did that? a toast by phone. Okay, let's go to the handsome Jimmy Hall of Fame. Who are the nominees for induction this year in the handsome Jimmy Hall of Fame? 
<laughs> Daryl Griffith, the player of the year from 1980, <laughs> championship season. Daryl Griffith, Peyton Seaver's daddy. And now he's a star. He's almost a handsome Jimmy Levels as no. far as stardom and notoriety. And we're going to throw in one of your groomsmen, Kent Taylor. Kent Taylor, <laughs> a, a surprise nominee in the Hall of Fame. Who is this year's inductee, Hanson? You know, it, it, it's hands down number 35, Duncan Stein. I mean, <laughs> people might say, who's Duncan Stein? Daryl Griffith. I mean, uh, when you get the honor that, I mean, you know, you, your Hall of Fame. Now I got all my, I got, I, I got all of them in. I got the two, the two greatest entertainers in Holly and, and the King. Elvis Presley, got the Jeff. Mount Rushmore, oh, there's, handsome, there's, there's, Mount, Mount, that, Mount Handsome. There's no question them four, you know. <laughs> and then now you got Duncan Stein in there, so couldn't beat Duncan. complete. Couldn't beat him. I mean, you know, and, and here's a guy, Greg is thinking, think back. Here he is, first high school player to get invited to Olympic trials. Would have made it the first one ever. 48-inch vertical jump. And uh, he said what Ollie said, I'm going to bring a title. Before I leave the University of Louisville, he did it. I'm going to win a championship. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's go to Carolina Steve who is one of our loyal callers. Carolina? Carolina, what's going on, buddy? Nothing much. Jimmy, you certainly do clean up nice. <laughs> Thank you, Pardon, I appreciate it. Well, the first thing I want to know, to me, you left off my favorite coach in the state of Kentucky, and I think he is, the last two years, has been coach of the year in the state, and that is Coach D from Bellum. Oh, uh, well, you know, he won it last year. He won it last year, yeah, and, and you know what? He just didn't have room on the list. We could have – I mean, he can be a, per, a nominee every year there's, automatically. There's no question. There's but, no. but, Scotty, I mean, to take that team and get them back as far as he did. Outstanding. Outstanding. And But uh, but like you said, it, you know, on the on the ballot, you know, the nominees, you know, we had them five. And oh, we could have put Coach on. There's no question. And most likely he'd be on next year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let's go to our final award. The Caller of the Year Award. The Caller of the Year, the Handsome's radio show. Our radio show is over 1450, and our TV show here. A lot of great callers this year. We got the truth. We've heard from some of them tonight. The truth, Big Brother, the mayor. We heard from the truth and the mayor tonight. Hink is 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 a, is a nominee. Yeah. You know, he's blue as they, they come, as Mason. He's and, bluer than Mason. And my, then Andy Walden, yes. who we had the really great debates between Big Brother and Andy leading up to UK, North Carolina, and Andy... You know, tragically, suddenly passed away. Yeah. And uh, I know this is an emotional award for you here, yeah. Hanson, but the winner of this year? Oh, there's, it's Andy Walton. Uh, you know, Greg, uh, our buddy Chris, and, you know, reads my poems, and he called me one, one day. He says, you know, Jimmy, he said, you need to, you know, get the committee together and have this award. I said, what's that? He said, the best caller of the award. I said, Chris. You're 100% right. And then when you called me tonight, I confirmed it. We had it all done. And and uh, that award, Andy, deserves it. And and from here on out, you know, I like to name it the Andy Award. Absolutely. From here on out. Yes, we will. It, give it every it, year. And it was, a, it was a tragic, you know, thing. He passed away. Because, you know, the, the night before I talked to him, I mean, you know, and then, then Carolina got a call. And, you know, and, and Dugan, Dugan, you know, gave him yeah. the number. Like, he told me the tragic news. I, I, it was sad. Thanks to my buddy Chris about that Absolutely. Award. Andy, the Andy Walden Award, he wins that. And Handsome, thank you for Got being it. with us. The Jimmies, we'll see you next year after the season. Thank you, Greg.